Hey, Jim. No last seven, name, just Jim. Six, Jim and carrots. Five, four, Jim loves carrots. Three, All right. <laughs> two, one. Fight, robots, fight. We're no stranger now to seeing Smee's long forks. Seems to be a, a, a new a new design that a lot of bots are taking up. Now with Smee, uh, you know Smee, Smee is a control bot, and uh, that uh, that super long, I believe, titanium wedge. Yeah, this is their tie wedge. Is uh, is a lifter, so they're able to lift just a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, really, really, what you're seeing with Joe Fabiani is. Uh, trying to cut off the size of the, the box, really corral his opponent into the corner and rack up uh, control points. Yeah, it's all about those pins. It's also about taking high energy weapons and making sure that you can put them right in the corner where they belong. We, uh, we just got a super chat from uh, the fantastic Mrs. Fox who uh, says, let's go Team Metal Volcano. Woo! Is Carrots on Team Metal Volcano? They might be. Interesting. So yes, me with these long, uh, I, I believe I've referred to them in the past as fingerling forks. Yeah, people love that on the internet, Kyle. They are able to get underneath the opponent with those and get them on top. That's what Smee's really looking to do, is get you up on top of the body. Oh, that's a good thing. Lift that's you up and get thing. you where he wants you to go. Put that weapon into the wall, into the corner. Often into uh, into our internal box cameras, we've got some GoPros <laughs> up in the corners, and Smee really likes to feed box right into that. It's interesting. Smee comes with a, a variety of uh, quote unquote weapons to this competition. In this particular case, we have the lifter configuration, but in some cases, we have the fire penguin. <laughs> Fire Penguin came one time like a year ago, burned a camera, and the internet hasn't forgotten, Kyle. All right? I believe we've had two instances of Fire Penguins, actually. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the challenges that we're seeing with Carrots is that uh, its its weapon is just not making purchase at all. It can't really find a good spot on, on Snee. With 40 seconds left here, and uh, Carrots has spent more time in the uh, corner than it has doing damage. Now Joe is on its head. This is this is the uh, opportunity. Carrots, get in there and and and, and trying make to some, line some up damage. Yeah, yeah here this we go. Is your, this is your shot, Carrots. Make it happen. Oh, never mind. Smee's back on his wheels. Oh, Carrots, that was a nice hit there. But now Carrots stuck up against the wall, and we are now down to ten, nine, eight, seven, six. This is what Smee does. Four, three, two. One, that's the end of this fight. Weapons off. This one goes to the judges. All right, judgy friends. Who do you think won that fight? Let's go ahead and start in the middle this time. What do you say? All right, let's Sounds do it. Sounds about right. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Uh, me was pretty much smothering the entire time. Um, yeah pretty much controlling the fight. There was, I did notice that um, the parrot did knock one of the back wheels off of me, so I give him a damage point for that, but uh, he could have had a, he could have capitalized whenever Smee was upside down against, but couldn't, whether he, he could or not, but uh, give aggression to Smee, so I'm giving it to Smee. Me it is. All right, Andrew, what are your thoughts? Yeah, similar idea. Uh, aggression and control were definitely SME. Damage is kind of a tie there. Both of them had some drive issues down the line, but for me, SME overall. All right, and Jack is a fellow Wedgeman. What are your thoughts? The unanimous decision for SME. They were just all over Carrots, and Carrots never really pressed any aggression or got any worthwhile hits apart from taking that one wheel. There you go. Unanimous judge's decision for our dear friend Smee. Thank you. All right. So we're going to be moving into box number one. Say hello to the crowd. Yeah. What's hello, going crowd. on out there, Hi, folks? everybody. We're glad you're here.